And we're going to see the ju judge and coaches enter the field of play. The wind is starting to pick up Ladies a little bit. So we're going to see the Rieker gold medal match. Rieker under 18 enter the field of play. On target number one with Daviti Bust. That's it from Georgia. <laughs> really hard last name to pronounce. Target number two, we have Francesco Pernini from Italy. David ranked eight in the qualification. Just heard he's only 13 years old, shooting his first ever final, so that's that gonna be a little bit dense. That is so impressive, too. At yeah. just 13 years old. You're shooting your first competition internationally. He's shooting his second competition, getting into the final at such a young age. That that's impressive. And making it into the gold medal match after qualifying eighth. Very impressive. Yeah, and he's going up against Francesco from Italy, ranked 13th. Third. Uh, sir, third. Excuse me. I mean, it's going to be hard, but it's going to be fun to watch. Yes, for sure. So Francesco is going to start. It is a quite long hold. I mean the wind does has picked up again. You really yes. want to make the best shot out of it when you can't keep it still in the middle. Oh, first a arrow start. into the 10. It's marked as a 9-10 liner. We're gonna have the judge confirm it for us. It looks like a 10. Yes, I think it looked like a 10 too. But sometimes the camera can be deceiving. Exactly. It is all about the angles. So from now, shooting the third arrow, they are tied with 17 points. Let's see how Francesco can recuperate on it. He shoots it then. Well done. So now the pressure is on the V2. At least get a 9. If the liner hits, they share the points, but you want to get a 10 to be exactly. certain. Exactly. And he manages it. Well done. Very strong. So we're going to have a, the judge take a look at that 9 10 liner from David to see if they're going to share the first set or David is going to take the two set points. You see the coach, his father. Really interesting combination. Mm -hmm. I've talked to a lot of archers, and you know, sometimes the parents and the athletes can get along really well, as you see here. Mm -hmm. I also know from personal experience that I don't like to have my father behind me if I'm shooting the finals. So it's really impressive to see them work together at this level. Yes, exactly. It is quite interesting to see personally. I wouldn't have my parents behind me either. But it's fun if you can do this with your family. Exactly. It I mean must be very nice to share it with them so closely. You're traveling the world, weeks at an end. So if you can do it with family, that's, that's really nice. Yes. And Arrow has been marked up. So we're going to have a 2-0 lead for Daviti against Francesco. So you see the qualification score. Francesco ranked third. And, and then you're going to see Daviti in eighth place. Shooting a 628. Not a bad score for this category. Yes, and um, Francesco shooting a 644. As you see here, in the quarterfinals, he had won a shoot-off against Jupido, a really experienced archer. Yes. We have seen him many times on the final field here. And winning a 6-2 against Emiliano, who we saw earlier in the bronze medal match. And again, you hear the Italian team <laughs> yes. supporting their archers. I, mean, I know I really like it when I'm shooting on the line and my team is screaming for me. 
gives you that nice, confident feeling. Exactly. I like it too a lot. Eh? And it's very nice to hear the whole support behind you. Long hold. Go going into seven. the seven. I mean, you want really want to shoot a strong shot, and mm -hmm. if it doesn't feel like it, you don't want to let go, but sometimes long holds can have a negative effect. And a 10 for Daviti. Seven. Another low seven. So we're gonna see him move its side, trying to get it back into the middle. Yes. I mean, still everything can happen. It's only the second set. Yes, for sure. I mean, there's a maximum of five sets. There can... Everything can still happen. It is an open end. I've seen matches go from 5-1 to 5-5 shoot-off. Yes. Look, he's found the middle again, shooting a mm -hmm. 9 for the last arrow of this end. And Daviti uh, puts a score. score. Wow, very impressive. I'm really impressed how he's handling the nerves of the final for the first time. Yes, me too. It is extremely impressive. A 28 and a 30 are very good scores. And out of these six arrows, five have been tens. Very impressed by the shooting of him. He's going to lead with 4-0 going into the third set. I mean, I just took a little look at the equipment they're shooting. Mm -hmm. I see Francesco shooting a fairly new, or maybe the newest model of Winner Win. And then if I look at the equipment of Daviti, mm -hmm. I don't know the brand personally. Maybe if you have a look later, you're yes. going to know it, but it, it's that bit older. I think so, yes. Um, I want to have a closer look next time he shoots, but I mean, yes, I mean, he has... I don't personally know the brand of his limbs, and it's, uh, neither do I the riser. <laughs> I'm familiar oh, with it from the Netherlands. It's, uh, it's an old one, but mm -hmm. I mean, if your shots are good, you don't need the newest equipment to exactly. perform well. And that's a testament to archery is all about the athlete. You can have everything helping you, you still got to make that great shot. Exactly. It is about precision and new and very high level equipment might help but it's definitely not the only thing that's going to get your shots into the 10 you need to shoot do good to sh the good shots <laughs> and low eight for francesco we see moving his side again i mean just turning your side until you find the middle again yes <laughs> high eight for the vt i mean this really tense uh, Daviti knows he's got to win this one to win the medal. S and he's trailing. Yeah. So yes. he knows what Francesco is shooting and he got to shoot better. Yes, for sure. But he seems quite relaxed. Low nine. It shots taking a tad bit longer than they were. Mm hmm. I mean, when you start thinking, you're also going to start thinking while you're under the shot. And, you know, it's Dang. keeping the long hold, trying to make it perfect, and sometimes it doesn't. Yes. Francesco shooting two tens for the last two arrows. Getting them his Nine, first two set points of this final. 26, 28, mm -hmm. 4 2 in favor for the and that means that on two so now we have two more ends left. 4-2. If the VT wins the next one, he wins the gold medal. But if he ties it or loses it, we're going to have a really exciting fifth end. For exactly. the first time today in Recurve. Yes. And that would be interesting to see for the spectators, but I think the archers would... I mean, Francesco probably wants it because he definitely wants the gold medal, but for Daviti, it's probably not the best outcome if they go into fifth end. I mean, you want to win it as soon as possible. Exactly. The longer it takes, the more nervous you get, the less chances you get if you mess up an end. So if you're leading, it's not the ideal outcome. Yes. 
just had a look at the quiver of one of the arches, you see a lot of pins. Mm -hmm. Something that's really popular in the youth competitions here. She oh yes, each trading the pins. Trading the pins. Each country has, most of the countries have some custom pins of their own nature and you're trading them, trying to collect them all. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we can see Francesco start off the fourth end with a 10. He's found his way back into the middle again. Yes. And so has Daviti. This is going to promise to be an exciting end. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Went a bit high. I mean, it can be when you go to these finals and you have a little bit of nerve, maybe you just anchor a millimeter different than you're used to. And then in the for him, probably a second set, he got used to the feeling and you anchor normally and the side may, might have just been a tad bit off, but that causes you to shoot seven in archery. Yes. A few millimeters can make a, such a big difference in the whole shot. So we're going to have a 28 so for Francesco. He needs a nine to win this set and to take home the gold medal. A long shot. Go and into he the gets ten. a well 10! The second perfect score he shot. Two perfect scores, getting him a 6-2 win against wow. Francesco from Italia. At 13 really years old. The only thing you can say is bravo. Yeah, so really. You're all shooting this level of archery. Oh. <laughs> also, he's really happy about it. That is great you to see. see Doing the little move from Metagasos yes. when he won the... Olympic Olympics. medal. So the judge is gonna confirm it. But it's pretty certain that we're gonna have a 6 2 win for Daviti. Yes. And there's a confirmation the gold medal for the recurve under 18 men category is going to Daviti. And it's confirmed. So now the field is going to be prepped for the under 21 category. We're going to move the targets back 10 meters. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now going for the victory ceremony for the recurve under 18 men. Medals will be presented by technical delegate and chairperson of World Archery Europe Youth Committee, Irena Rosa. Third place bronze medal representing Germany, Phil Lutherberding. Second place silver medal representing Italy, Francesco Perini. Gold medal, first place, 
Georgia Davidi Vardilatse. Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem of Georgia. Thank you. 